everyone. Today I decided I'm going to film my What's in My Purse video. I have seen a lot of these and I really like to watch them. They're very fun to see what other people keep in their purses. And I also just saw Megan Rosette's video today and I figured that would be a good time. Um, she kind of just inspired me to go ahead and film it today. Um, so I'm going to show you my purse. Um, it's this. It's the Mark Get a Handle on It bag. Um, it's got the regular handles, you can wear like on the crook of your arm or over your shoulder, and then it also has a long strap, which is detachable to wear a crossbody. And it also has really cool stud detailing on the sides, which I like, and this um, little chain and keychain thing. Hopefully you can see that little chain keychain thing. Uh, okay, so first of all, in the little pockets down here, let's see what I have. Um, this is just kind of how I normally keep it. Oh, there's tampons, womenly products just in case and then I have in the other one I have a pack of five gum and spearmint which I really like and then a hair tie because you know, never know when you're going to need a hair tie and then in the bigger top pocket um, it's kind of it's become my lip product pocket because I really love lip products um, some cash mm -hmm. mostly ones actually my sisters don't tell her I have them um, but anyways, so first one is this mango lip butter from the body shop. Um, it smells really, really, really nice. My sister got it for me. Um, but that's really nice, just as a nice basic lip balm. Um, next is the Buxom lip gloss. And it's in the shade Lola. Um, I got this recently and I've really been loving it. I'm wearing it right now over Max Cream Cup, which is also in here. I'm sure you all know what that looks like. Um, but I absolutely love that too. Um, another one I just got was, is this, it's called, it's from the brand Time and Again, Vitamin C Natural Lip Moisturizer. It's just a lip gloss and it's a moisturizer and it feels really nice on my lips and it smells like orangey, like vitamin C E. And I just got this from my Hy-Vee Floral Shop. Yes. Um, another one is, I know I, I have a lot of lip products, but there's Mark's Juice Gem in Mango Tango, which is a really good color really fun summery color. Um, this is the CO Bigelow Mentha Lip Shine. It's the Ultra. Um, I've had this forever, but I absolutely love these because they're so minty and they taste minty and they smell minty and they're just really nice. And then I also have Max Lip Gloss in Easy Lounger. That I got at a CCO recently. Um, and then I have my Pangeo Organics Lip Balm in Egyptian Fennel with Grapefruit and Sweet Orange. I'm sure a lot of you have seen these from Birch Box before. That's where I got mine. Um, and I also have a Crystal Light packet in Wild Strawberry, which is my favorite flavor. And it has um, caffeine in it as well, which I really like. Okay, and then I'm going to unzip the top pocket. Okay, so this is my makeup bag, um, which is from Mark. Um, I have Mark Slash All You Want, and then the eye marker. And I have Mini Missed Opportunity, which is kind of gross, it's been in there a while. Um, my Body Shop uh, bronzer. My MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Rose Quartz, which is from the uh, Semi Precious Collection, which I've done before. Um, and then Mark's Powder Buff in Nude, just to touch up throughout the day. Um, my Kabuki Brush from Mark, it's retractable, like you can put the cap on it so it's really nice to keep in your like purse or whatever and you're not going to get powder everywhere um and then there's Mark's Please Hold Eye Primer which I've shown before as well um if I need a little bit extra concealer or something like that that's great for touch-ups um and then there's oh I got an Aveda facial a little while ago and there was their little like prescription thing that they like suggest products for you to use um and then Mark's Cheat Sheets which are really really beat up um but they're just oil blotting sheets. And there's a bobby pin in there as well. Okay, and then moving on, I have my wallet, which is from Coach. I actually got it at a Coach outlet, but it's really nice. Um, don't think you can see anything. Um, there's some cash, and then there's spots for cards over here. And then a little change pocket, and the inside's like a nice purpley color, which I really like. I think it's really cute. Uh, I have my Glitzy Glam little keychain attached to it because I think it's adorable, and a coach keychain as well, if you can kind of see that. A YMCA pass and my library card on there as well, my keys, the car, and then to work at home, 
and there's a little pocket out here where I usually keep my debit card just so it's easy to access. Um, and then I have my water bottle, which is um, a Camelback. I've had a few of those. Um, Shea Cashmere Hand Cream from Bath & Body Works, and this one is in Country Chic. I'm not a huge fan of this scent, but I like it, and I love the hand cream, so I use it all the time still. Um, and then here's my Ahaba Mineral Hand Cream, which is basically gone. There's like barely even a squirt left, which is why I have the other one. Um, a couple of pens. They're Mark pens, actually. Um, it's in this pocket. Oh, my watch broke. So I put it in there so if I could see, so I could see if I could get it fixed at my jewelry store. They couldn't fix it, so I'm gonna have to send that in to get it fixed. I'm kind of sad about that. What else is in here? Oh, a ring. This is from Mark. It's really cute. Um, and then my square. I don't know if you guys have seen these, but you just like slide a credit card through there. Somebody owes you money or something like that, and it gets paid and just directly deposited into your bank account, which is really convenient. Um, Marks get misty in lemon sugar. Um, since it's a plastic bottle, I keep it in my purse if I feel like I'm smelling. Sometime during the day, it's easy to get out and spray on. Um, then I have a pocket bag from Bath and Body Works. It's in tropical passion fruit. I have a ton of those running around. Um, here's my iPod. It's an 80 gig. It's just like the classic, or whatever. The, my actual iPod um, is black, I believe. I don't remember. It's black, I believe, but this sticker thing my sister gave to me for Christmas a few years back, and it's really cute, and people always are like, where'd you get that? I was like, my sister. Um, and here's one of these mini emergency survival kits, um, and it just kind of has everything in there that you could possibly need. So I keep that around all the time. It's always in my purse. Um, then I have some mints I got from New York when I was there for Mark. They actually, um, I believe it was... My regional manager gifted these to me. Go to my purse because I need mints. Uh, my sunglasses. They're from H&M. So I love this style. They're huge. I love big bug eyed sunglasses. Contact solution. I have this in my purse. I haven't opened it yet because I just went to the eye doctor. So I, they just gave me the little like sample one. Um, but I have this just in case I need to like refresh my contacts throughout the day if there's something in there. Um, my checkbook. Well it's not my checkbook. It's the like the register so I can write down what I've used my debit card on. I like to keep track and I can look online but I like to match this with what's online as well. Um, then I have a little sticky and it's got my budget on it. Keep a budget. I only allow myself so much money every week and I keep everything right there on a nice little sticky note. Um, and then I also have Mark Maglogs because I'm a Mark rep so you always have to have those around. This one's kind of beat up. I should throw that one away but have those around. And then, what else do I have? Oh, I just printed off a coupon for $1.50 off Seattle's Best Coffee. If you like their um, iced lattes, they come in a little four-pack. They're really yummy. If you like their Facebook page, you can get a coupon. Um, and then also the Trend Insider from Mark, which has features the bag. And then, like, this blazer and those shorts and the tights and everything. So you can see that. Um, but I keep that on hand just to have if somebody's curious about something or if I want to look at it. Um, and then I have another pack of gum. This one's almost gone. Yeah, there's one slice left. Um, then I have my Band-Aid Friction Block Stick, which works really nice if you're wearing uncomfortable heels or flats or sandals or anything that's going to rub on your foot. You just rub this on before you put them on, and it'll stop them from rubbing and stop you from getting a blister or anything like that. Um, and then my doll. And that pocket's empty. Oh, that's it. The bag is all empty. There's some glitter in there because I had glittery shoes in there the other day. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but that's all that's in my bag right now. Um, that's about what's usually in my bag. My camera's usually in my bag as well. Uh, if you want to see it, here, let's go. There's my camera. Um, it's just the Samsung Dual View. It's got the little screen on the front. But the screen on the front doesn't work if you're, um, that's, the screen on the front doesn't work if you're videotaping, which I don't think makes sense, but, um, it works really well, and that's what I'm using, it shoots in HD, and I also always keep it in this little coach wristlet that my cousin got for me, um, it just fits in there really nicely, and then I have, like, an extra battery and a spare memory card, um, but so I hope you guys enjoy, uh, 
leave your comments down below. If you filmed the what's in your purse video, or if you want to, film one and add it as a video response, and I'll be sure to watch it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.